Mr. Russell, with you, welcome to Box Office India. Thank you. Very glad to be here. Mr. Russell, how is your how is your trip to India been so far? My trip, my this has been an adventure. I yeah. wouldn't call it a trip. It, yeah. it feels like a a, a a wonderful life, getting to work with the artists here in India. Okay. It's a bit of a dream. Right. Uh, so I'll start off by asking you that you've always worked with animals. True. Uh, so what was it about this story that grabbed you? Absolutely, the elephants. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I was born on a farm. I have a thing with animals. I always have had since I was a kid. Okay. I've always had a rescue dog. We've got a couple of cats right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I realized filming with animals, uh, especially with gentlemen like this, suddenly <coughs> there's, I come from theater. Mm -hmm. When you're working with animals, it naturally causes improvisation. Right. Because they're behaving. Mm -hmm. And if we have a relationship, and in our case, Vidya took the time to have a real relationship with our elephant. Right. Something magical happens. So we got more than we bargained for with these amazing animals. So that subject, to do my style of film, which is a fun style of film, with an important resonant uh, message, a crisis is happening to elephants. True. People that don't, people that don't watch documentaries and might enjoy my film, suddenly they might see something new. Yeah. So you think that entertainment factor will pass out the subliminal message that is there? I'm here to entertain first. Absolutely. I really am. But yeah. this subject has it all. And the elephants are uniquely spiritual, mysterious animals. They're wild yeah. animals. We have to respect them. Majestic. They're, ma they're majestic. Yeah. And meeting Arbola, mm -hmm. and which I did originally in casting, and I made sure Vidit had his own <laughs> days and days yeah. getting to know him. Uh, it's like making friends with a whale. Mm -hmm. It's just this spirit of this animal I cannot describe. So casting elephants, just like casting the dog in the mask, mm -hmm. or the, cam the camel for Dwayne Johnson and Scorpion King, is a real thing. I have yeah. to, there's animals have different personalities, right. and there's chemistry between an actor and an animal. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the tricks I've learned, and one of the things I love to bring to audiences. Okay. It, what about your chemistry with the elephants? Before that, I, want, like, I just want to add to yes. this, uh, because I haven't mentioned it so clearly, Chuck, in the other interviews also, is that so they all ask me, this is like the first question, what's different with Chuck and all the directors of the country? Yeah. With the brilliant directors and Chuck, there's no difference. There's brilliance, brilliance is common, right? Right. But Chuck, you know what's the most amazing thing that I discovered after the whole process got over, I watched a bit of the movie, is so when the casting process happened, right, if it was me yeah. or somebody else or even cooler than that else, he would go for the most beautiful tusks which are properly aligned. You know, the way we've grown yeah. up looking at elephants is like, how beautiful are the yeah. tusks? Look the at ivory this, tusks. the yeah. beauty of it, the proportion, the length, mm -hmm. the elongation of it. Yeah. But when I went on the set and I got to know Chuck has finally decided the protagonist of the movie. <laughs> the I was a bit, I was not very sure what I thought of the elephant because for me it was not the regular beauty. Right. If you see Bula, the he's quite unusual. Yeah. The tusks don't nothing go like, like this, they go like that. Okay. So for us, if you got a crooked tooth, it's not beautiful, you know what I'm saying? If you yeah. don't have the proper blah blah blah, it's not beauty. But when I saw Bula, the elephant, I was like, Chuck has a vision. Yeah. Because this is the only one on planet Earth, something like that, which crosses over. Right. So Chuck, thank you buddy. <laughs> what a vision, you. because nobody thinks like that. Everybody yeah. is looking for perfection. The Six perfection, pack abs, yeah. eight pack abs, you know how it is? But the beauty is somewhere else. And when I watched the movie, I was like, you cannot replicate this. And, you, and you can never, you for the audience, it hit, you can, it's easy to mix elephants up. Right. And this elephant walks out in the, in the forest as I first mm -hmm. met him, your eyes go just to that elephant. And yeah. he's looking right back at you. Most animals will not hold your eye. And I, yep. I don't know if you know, true, true, true. you could look right in this dude's eye. You have to stand up really straight and the eye is right there. Mm -hmm. And he's gazing at you. Because we, we showed respect. I, yeah. I did this when I first met him. The Mahout said, mm -hmm. that's been doing that for thousands of years. Yeah. And we used mm -hmm. it for his character. And then he taught the elephant something entirely of, right. his, of his own. Right. So, so my experience was quite... Yeah. See, I've grown up in different parts of the country. My father was in the army, so I am one of the lucky ones to have lived with animals. I've seen snakes in my backyard, mm -hmm. so I'm not somebody from just the big city. Yeah. But after being on the set of Jungle, I just realized you know nothing about what you even know. Yeah. What we know about the elephants through Google is not enough. Sure. Because what we know is that we know nothing. And that's the biggest discovery. Okay. One thing we can do with ease and that's the only thing we should, is respect them. Yeah. 
if you feel the respect, they will do anything for you. You don't go to the elephant and say, hey, Bola, you're looking so good today. I <laughs> like what you're wearing. The checks really suit you. It doesn't affect him. You feel that feeling of respect and it's going to be so nice to you. Simple. Yeah, because we've been seeing your journey throughout, you know. Some pictures have been come out that you're bonding with the elephants mm. in Thailand. So how was that whole experience, especially shooting in the jungle there? I'm sure it must be... I would have seen he's, he's the real jungle. <laughs> by I, the way. I love He's not like this American dude. Yeah. He's like I, jungly. I, I love that. I, I, I I'm, I'm, was there for adventure mm -hmm. because I can bring, if I'm experiencing it, I can bring it to the audience. Right. But I, I want to back up just for one second yeah. because um, the fun in my career mm. has been to be inspired by a specific actor mm -hmm. or actress. And the mask was only for Jim Carrey. There was no one else from the beginning that could okay. do it. But he was unknown in feature films in the West and worldwide yeah, yeah. when we did that. Yeah. Scorpion King was meant to launch Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson yes. So I developed these screenplays mm -hmm. knowing who was in it. And the first thing that happened, they sent me the beautiful story of Jungle. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm as a Westerner being invited to do something about the entertaining adventure that involves a real crisis of elephants and get to use my skills I've developed over the years of getting right. the personality with the actor and the elephant right. together. But I had to meet him first. Yeah. And before we developed the screenplay, uh, I'm like, he's the real thing. I mean, in America, we see the little clips of him in the movies. Mm -hmm. But when I flew out to meet him, he was so gracious. And I've got a whole theory about martial arts with certain actors and, mm. and the discipline and the, the actual danger that's in these films. Yeah. It's only so much of an illusion, especially with one of our conflicts. Is, is his style has gotten very little to do with illusion, mm -hmm. and my style has a lot of protocol and a lot of illusion. So I, I had to roll with him wanting to do the fourth and fifth take. Well, he was like a mother. Every evening he used to call me and say, Vidyut, you were very good. But tomorrow, I don't want you to do this. <laughs> he's like, no, Chuck, I want to do this. He would almost want, you know, Chuck gets a cup of coffee, we're going to do it again, and this time set it on fire, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, but his, I was inspired by who he is, and I think we've captured a little bit of his real personality. In that, in that there's a, a very warm side, there's a very spiritual side yeah. that plays well in this adventure along with, I think, the, the action and the passion his yeah. fans are used to. Yeah. So I try to find the vulnerability in this guy yeah. and animals bring that out yeah. uh, for these dramas. Right.